Hello everyone. Today we are going to do class nine maths part two chapter number eight trigonometry practice set number eight point one. We are going to complete today. So without wasting time, let's start with the video. The first question is in the figure angle R is a right angle of angle PQR. Okay. So they have already given angle R is supposed to be a right angle means it is ninety degree. Okay. So either you all can draw this figure or this figure it's one and the same children okay so any one you all can draw not both of them for explanation i have drawn both you all can draw any one so now we have to find sin p when the angle r is a right angle okay so angle sin p is going to be opposite side of Angle P. Okay, so this is opposite side of angle P. That is going to be Q R. Okay, upon hypotenuse. So these are the formulas or properties you all can say for sine when the angle R is ninety degree. Okay, so if you all have to find sine P, the formula is going to be opposite side of angle P. That is Q R upon hypotenuse so therefore sin p is equal to opposite side of p uh, angle p is supposed to be qr isn't it and hypotenuse is pq got it you all can use the same diagram nothing much is going to change answer will be the same now we have to find cos theta now cos theta is adjacent side of angle q upon hypotenuse okay now adjacent side of angle q which is the adjacent side of angle q the same one so it is going to come cos of q is qr this is the adjacent side of angle q upon hypotenuse is pq or qp Got it, children? Now, tan P. For tan P, what is going to be the formula? All the formulas have been given in the textbook, children. You all can refer it. Opposite side of angle P upon adjacent side of angle P. That is going to give you all tan P. So therefore, tan P. Is equal to Q R. What is the opposite side of P Q R or R Q? And adjacent side of angle P is going to be P R. Okay, so Q R and P R. Got it? Now angle Q in the same position in the same figure. We can. I will refer this figure now. Okay, so tan Q when you'll have to find when you'll have to find tan the formula is opposite side of angle Q upon adjacent side of angle Q. So all these formulas have been given as I said. So tan Q will be. What is the opposite side of angle Q? It is PR. This is the angle which is the opposite side PR. So write PR. And adjacent side of angle Q is supposed to be QR only. Got it, children? In this way, the first question is over. Let's move on to the next question. That is the second one in the right angle triangle. So this is the right angle triangle that I have drawn. Angle. Angle triangle X Y Z triangle X Y and Z, in which angle Y is supposed to be ninety degree and A B C are the lengths of the sides. Okay, so A B and C are the lengths of the sides, as shown in the figure. Write the ratios. Now we have to write the ratios for that. Sine of X is going to be opposite side. These are the formulas you all have to revise it from the textbook, children. Everything is been given in the textbook. The so opposite side of angle X, okay, upon hypotenuse. That is 
साइन x इज इक्वल टू वाई जेड अपॉन एक्स जेड नाउ वॉट इज वाई जेड वाई जेड इज सपोज टू बी वाई जेड इज सपोज टू बी ए एंड एक्स जेड इज सपोज टू बी सी गॉट इट सो दिस इज द रेशो फॉर साइन एक्स नाउ टेन जेड For this, the formula is opposite side of angle Z upon adjacent side of angle Z. Therefore, we will write the sides first. The opposite side is Y Z. You all can refer the figure over here and. Y x sorry the opposite side is y x upon y z therefore the value of y x is supposed to be b and y z is supposed to be a that's it now cos x is supposed to be adjacent side adjacent side of Angle x upon hypotenuse. Therefore, cos of x is equal to x y upon x z, which is supposed to be therefore not is equal to cos x is equal to b upon c. Same with tan of x, which is supposed to be opposite side of angle x upon adjacent side of angle x now what is the opposite side of angle x that is y z and adjacent side of x is y x therefore tan of x is equal to a upon b got it now let's move to question number 3 in the right angle triangle so this is the right angle triangle angle Uh, L M N in which angle M is ninety degree, angle L is fifty degree, and N is forty degree. Write the following ratios. Okay, now all the angles have been given over here. We have to write the formula and then we have to find the ratios. So sine of fifty is going to be sine L. Okay, sine fifty is supposed to be sine L. Therefore, the formula is opposite. side of angle l upon hypotenuse therefore sin 50 which is angle l is mn upon ln got it now let's move to cos 50 so cos 50 is again angle l so it is going to be cos L and the formula is adjacent side of angle L upon hypotenuse. Okay, so therefore cos of fifty degree angle L is fifty degree, isn't it? So adjacent side of angle L is supposed to be L M upon ln is the hypotenuse got it let's move to the next sum tan 40 same figure i have drawn over here so that it will be easy for you all to refer so tan 40 is equal to tan of n now tan n is equal to opposite side of angle n upon adjacent side of angle n therefore tan of 40 degree is equal to lm upon mn got it now cos 40 is equal to cos of n okay cos n which is supposed to be adjacent side adjacent side of angle n upon hypotenuse 
therefore cos n is 40 degree mn upon ln got it now question number 4 in the figure angle pqr is 90 degree okay and pqs is also pq s and p q r these are the two 90 degree angles that they have mentioned over here in which angle p r q that is p r q is supposed to be alpha and angle p q sorry q p s is supposed to be theta so this is what they have given write the following trigonometrical ratios so according to the alpha and beta using these we have to write the ratios now sin is going to be the same formula so sin of angle prq okay so sin of angle prq is equal to opposite side of angle r upon hypotenuse okay so therefore sin of alpha is equal to pq upon pr the formulas are going to be the same children only these values are going to change that is alpha at times they are going to give degree at times they are going to add x y in such way you all have to find the ratios but the formula is going to be the same okay now cos alpha is going to be cos of angle prq same that is i will write it over here adjacent sorry not hypotenuse adjacent side of angle r upon hypotenuse okay so therefore cos of alpha is equal to r q upon p r now tan alpha is supposed to be tan of p r q is equal to opposite side of angle r upon adjacent side of angle r so therefore tan of alpha is equal to p q upon r q got it so let's do the next section now now sin theta we have to find same figure now for we have finished with our alpha we are finding theta now so sin theta that is we have to use this angle that is sin of angle p q p s okay so first we took p r s p r and q not s p r and q we took in the second one that is for theta we are going to take q p and s the formulas are again the same that is for sin opposite side of angle q p s upon hypotenuse okay so therefore sin theta is equal to q s upon ps same goes for cos of theta that is cos of angle q p s the formula for cos is adjacent side of angle q p s upon hypotenuse okay so therefore cos theta is equal to pq upon ps all right now tan theta this is the last one same tan qps tan of angle qps what is the formula of tan that is opposite side of angle qps upon adjacent side of angle qps therefore tan theta is equal to qs upon 
PQ. Opposite side and adjacent side, you all have to refer from the diagram, children. Okay. These formulas you all have to learn because they are same for sine, cos and tan. Everywhere the formula is same. Only the alphabets and the angles are going to change according to the needs. Okay. So whatever has been given, the same we have to write it. But the main formula that is opposite side and adjacent side, angles are going to change. Just the angles are going to change. But everything else is going to remain the same. I hope this exercise was easy and clear to everyone. These formulas are already been given in the textbook. You all can refer it over there also. If not, you all can write it down in a single page and keep it for yourself. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye.